one syllable word, time. There is a very good reason why historians will always remind us that we get the best information when a period of time has passed after the subject has either passed away or has left the scene. Uh, passion's cool. People have time to remember. People become more accessible. Archives open up that were sealed. I'll give you a perfect example. Uh, there is a new book just published two or three weeks ago. It's called The Patriarch. It's written by David S. S. Nassau, and it's a biography of Joseph P. Kennedy, Sr. Nassau's calling card from his earlier work is scrupulous balance and fairness and an inexhaustible amount of research. He was approached by uh, the late Senator Ted Kennedy and Senator Kennedy's sister, Jean Smith, and asked to write a biography of old Joe. Nassau said, I'd be interested in doing it, but I want unfettered access to everything. I want complete control over what I write. And secondly, I can't do this biography until foreign sources are available. And that meant everything from going to Israel to find information that people have known has existed, but it was never available, going to the Vatican in Rome and getting into files that had been sealed for 60 and 70 years, and going to Great Britain. Well, where, where Kennedy Sr. had been an ambassador. Where, where he'd been an ambassador and where the British uh, kept extensive files about his activities, but those files were only recently becoming available with the British Secret Acts expiring. Seventy plus years later. Seventy plus years later. Now, most of what we know about old Joe Kennedy um, uh, involves a few basic facts that everyone seems to accept, that he was a notorious womanizer, that he was a shady business operator, that he was a bootlegger, 